January looms with the regular season campaigners Medang, best FC and defending champions Lacey T Dwellers, confirmed to run into action on January 6, 2018. So far, 12 teams have shown interest to participate next season, including Manos and Millen Bay. The Millen Bay franchise club, Eastern Stars, looks to make a re-entry into the competition, while newcomers FC Moro Bay Wawans are banking on the provincial government for support. Other teams include Manus, Oro, Erema Gulf, Unitec, Southern Strikers and the Simbu franchise. PNG Football Association President David Chung said the league organization which franchise clubs are expected to work in partnership with stakeholders and part owners of franchise clubs for sustainability. However, the NSL competition will play a pool system if it's eight teams and a round robin for six teams competition. All NSL franchise clubs are encouraged to take ownership of activities to maintain sustainability. All clubs must be incorporated as a company and be registered with IPA and there is to be no conflict of ownership. Clubs must also have their home ground or demonstrate their ability to have their own ground to host matches and generate revenue. The annual affiliation fee and player registration fee must be paid a month before the competition starts on the 6th of next month. Each franchise club is also asked to submit their master list maximum of 30 players, including team management. Lists of foreign players should be no more than five, with only three permitted to take the field at any one match. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.